I respect you. <laughs> hey, it's Jimmy Dore. I, I don't know if you remember me, but... Um, as if I could forget the most horrifying radio listening experience of my life. Well, we just wanted to hear your opinion about the new policies at the University of Chicago. Oh, you mean the new apartheid? Uh, I guess, sure. Are you going to broadcast what I just said or whatever? <laughs> I might. Well, then you have to put a trigger warning on there because I said apartheid. <laughs> and God has forgive me if there is an African-American <laughs> South African listening and they hear the word apartheid without some sort of warning, and all of a sudden they're totally traumatized and they go up and they kill themselves. Oh, an African-American South African. <laughs> oh, so obviously you don't approve of the university's decision. Um, I don't approve or disapprove of things, okay? That's judgment. And I don't judge people. I just think this is the most fascist thing I've ever heard. Ever. <laughs> you you do know actual fascism was a thing, right? Oh, I, oh, oh, goddess. <laughs> I can't believe you just micro-aggressed me in my kind like that. <laughs> I don't know what that means. What is microaggression? It's when a person says something or does something which intentionally or unintentionally degrades a marginalized group. <laughs> and can you give me an example of a microaggression? Well, you're of Irish descent, aren't you? Yeah, yeah, I sure am. And the Irish are a beautiful people with a rich and beautiful culture. Okay. But what if I was to make a little joke about Irish people being drunks? How would you feel about that, hmm? Well, I guess it depends on how good the joke is. Oh, oh. <laughs> I can't believe you just, I mean, you just microaggressed yourself. <laughs> like some sort of self-hating Irish-American person. <laughs> well, yeah, what's your point? You should be offended. Well, I'm not. But what if you had been? I'd either keep it to myself or I'd say something. Oh, you poor, poor, self-hating Irish-American man person. <gasps> oh, gosh. Do I identify as male at all, yes? Yeah, I do. Okay, so you are a male person, and it sounds like you are in need of a safe space in which you cannot microaggress yourself with your little jokes. I really don't think I do. Why would you say that? Because I'm a fucking adult. Oh, my goddess. I can't believe. That's, <laughs> oh, that's just. I'll have you know, I'm a maturity challenged, and you just microaggress my unofficially detected class with your adult word. <laughs> what in God's name are you talking about? Oh, you have to give me a trigger warning when you're about to say God or the name of any patriarchy based deity. Why? Why do I have to give you a trigger warning for that? Because I saw a production of Godspell that was not good. Okay. Then the guy who played Jesus marginalized me. Let me say, I, I, don't, I, I don't understand how you live in the world. Jimmy, I'm totally not exaggerating when I tell you that my life is the most painful thing that has oh. ever happened to anyone ever. <laughs> no, it's not. For every hour I spend exposed to people, places, or things, I have to spend three hours doing kundalini yoga and taking Ambien. <laughs> That's because you have no goddamn coping skills. All life is, is being exposed to other people. And I'm pretty sure the whole point of college is being exposed to people and ideas that are challenging, even if they're offensive. Oh, my goddess. Why don't you just literally murder me with your words, why don't you? <laughs> I'm going to let you go. Yeah, why don't you do that so that I can begin my spiritual healing, which I need every time I talk to you. Okay, bye. Okay, 
goodbye. I'm still offended. <laughs>